Hello and welcome to the CCNB routing and switching course offered by Simply Learn. The previous lesson focused on Layer 2 security. In this lesson, let us focus on considerations for wireless, VoIP, and video. Let us begin with the objectives of this lesson in the next slide. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to explain the wireless architecture and functions of DCF, describe split MAC architecture or CUWN, explain the concepts of QoS, Trust Boundary, and PoE, list the Layer 3 QoS models, explain the concept of PoE, list the characteristics of VOIP and voice. Let us start our discussion with wireless. Wireless uses variants of the 802.11 protocol. Wireless architecture involves numerous components. There are stations, which are end devices, such as PCs that use wireless protocols to send and receive data. The next component is the access point, or AP, which provides the connectivity for the end devices. Switches and routers are also components in integrating wireless data into the network. In the next slide, let us discuss distributed coordination function. The transmitters and receivers used for wireless use the same frequency. This involves data collisions, and hence the communication is half-duplex. In a wired half-duplex network, CSMA with collision detection is used to detect collisions. In a wireless network, CSMA with collision avoidance is used to avoid collisions. Let us now see how DCF works. All stations wait for the DCF interframe space before transmitting. Then, a duration and random backup timer are used to determine when a station is permitted to transmit. DCF also accommodates higher priority traffic. This involves a short interframe space with acknowledgments. In the next slide, let us discuss a wireless station. A station requires a wireless NIC and a supplicant or software to communicate using wireless. Every frame sent without a collision between AP and station is acknowledged. Two stations can communicate directly with each other. This is called ad hoc infrastructure. For a station to communicate with many other stations and the Internet, an access point with an extended service set infrastructure is used. All stations communicate through an AP. In the next slide, let us discuss access points. 